Hey everybody, it's Anthony here on Edgy Power Tools, and I'm here today to walk you through how to best share your recordings that you make of your Zoom meetings. There's two basic ways to do it. One is directly through Zoom, and the other way is to do it by using some kind of a cloud storage device like Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive or something like that. So I'm gonna show you both ways. Here's the first way. The first way is directly through Zoom. These are recordings that you see on the screen here that I've made in Zoom and saved to the cloud. So when I've saved recordings to the cloud, I have my session details, my recording details that I can click on here. I also have the share button over here on the right. So I'm gonna click on that share button on the right and it's gonna bring up these uh, options. So these options are mainly personal preference. Some things you wanna keep in mind are student privacy and, uh, and whatnot uh, and the ability to download these files. So um, but a couple of things I need to explain in a little bit more detail. So first thing is this, share this recording is gonna be on if you wanna share it, obviously. Um, you have two options here, publicly or only authenticated users can view. Uh, generally, you wanna have it be set to publicly. Publicly does not mean that it is sent to the internet and saved on YouTube and for all to see. You couldn't search for it, you couldn't find it. Publicly means that you don't need to have a Zoom account in order to download, uh, to, you don't need to have a Zoom account to view this shared video. That's what publicly means. So I'm gonna click on publicly, that's saved. If you're just share, um, sharing this within district and you only want um, fellow teachers to view the video, then you could do authenticated users because uh, staff members have Zoom accounts and even some students do have Zoom accounts as well. But generally, if you're sharing this with like, say a student who doesn't have a Zoom account or a parent or some other kind of peripheral resource, um, then um, you want it to be on publicly. Add expiry date to the link, that's completely up to you. If you only want them to be able to view it up to a certain amount of time, you can turn that on and set the date. Uh, viewers can download. Here's where we get into student privacy. If you just need them to share, uh, to, you need to share the video for them to view it like once and that's it, it's done, then I would not allow them to download it. There's no reason for them to be able to download it. Um, so I would turn that one off. On demand registration required, that's related to authenticated users. You need to have a Zoom account to be able to do that. Generally, I would leave that one off. Passcode protection, completely up to you. If you are, want to have that level of security on it, then you can turn that on. If you click show, it'll show you the passcode. If you wanna change the passcode to something that is more um, manageable, that's something that I'll remember, then you can click edit and change that. Once you've made all those setting choices, you're gonna click on this little arrow here and you're gonna see the detailed information. So it tells you the information about the session, session that was recorded, when it was recorded, what time, what the title of the session is, and this is the link to the recording, and then this is the passcode. So you could, in theory, pa copy and paste all that stuff, and that's what this little link is for here. Copy and then paste that into an email to share with somebody, an individual. Uh, you could also post into Google Classroom if you want the whole class to be able to see it or something like that. That's how you're gonna share it from the cloud. That's all you need to do with that. If you're sharing it from your device, it's a little bit more, there's a little bit more steps to the process, but it's really manageable. So say I have a local recording that I wanna to save to, uh, that I wanna share. I need to be able, this is just living on my computer right now. It needs to be in the cloud so that people can access it. You don't want to attach it to an email because it's going to be way too big of a file for it to go through email. So generally you want to upload it to a cloud storage device. Again, like I said before, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, whatever it is that works for you. Generally, if you're in a Google district, which I am, uh, we're going to put that into Google Drive. So that's the process I'm going to show you right now. So I can click on open and it's going to open up the file uh, on my computer. Okay, and here it brings me right to this folder. So this is in my documents folder and my Zoom folder that's in the documents folder. And then I have three files here, audio only, playback, or Zoom. Uh, and I'm gonna just do Zoom because that's gonna be the video there. That's the file that I'm gonna want to share, all right? So you're probably gonna wanna rename this to something that makes more sense. So we'll say Mr. Amatrano's Meeting. I tend to avoid putting punctuation when I'm saving a file on my computer because it messes with the computer. Mr. Amatrano's meeting, I'll just call it that, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to just upload this right into Google Drive, okay? So I can go 
to um, my Google Drive. I'm in Chrome. And I am going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Zoom Recordings. I'm going to open up that folder. It's empty right now. I'm going to move that off to the side a little bit. I'm going to slide this window over to the right a little Come on. Over to the right a little bit. And I'm going to click and drag this right into my browser. And that's going to automatically upload it. So I'm going to click and drag that right over here. And it's going to automatically upload it right into Zoom Recordings. Okay. Now it's in my Google Drive. That was a quick one because it's a short video. When I open it up, it may still be processing right now. Yeah, so it's processing, so we can't do anything with it right now. So uh, you're going to be able to open up. The bottom line is once the video is processing, you'll see the video here. You'll be able to play it and everything. In the upper right hand corner, you've got these three dots to say more actions. You're going to want to share from here. All right, so share. And now when you are sharing a video, you want to keep in mind the same issues that we kind of went over when we were sharing through Zoom, student privacy, the ability to download, things like that. So first thing, this is restricted only to people within the district. That's okay if, I, if it's only gonna be students or staff members. If you're sharing this off with parents, you need to change this. So we're gonna change the link. So I'm assuming that we're gonna share this with parents. We're gonna change this to be um, anyone with the link. And they're gonna be viewers. And we're gonna hit done there, okay? So that's gonna allow people from outside the district to access the video. Well, uh, another sharing setting that you want to keep, into, uh, keep in mind is the ability to uh, download, okay? So uh, generally, I don't want the viewers and commenters to download, print, or copy this. So I'm gonna uncheck that so that they don't have that access, okay? This top one is for editors only. That doesn't apply to viewers. So editors can change permissions and share, sure, that's fine. All right, so I've unchecked viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. And I have changed this so that anyone on the internet with this link can view. Now the link that you want to share is this link, copy link. And then you're going to paste that into an email or to Google Classroom or however it is that you want to share that. You can invite individuals from here, but that's kind of overkill if you're sending it to a group of people on an email list that you already have. Just send the link, copy link, and paste that into the email. And that's it. That's how you're going to share your recordings. Depending on your cloud storage preference, if you use Dropbox or uh, OneDrive, the, the, the process is similar but not identical, So, but it, you should have those same abilities to change the settings to prevent people from downloading it um, or making a copy of it. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I'm happy to help at any time, and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks.